guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a vlog i'm very sure you have seen it in the thumbnail or in the title so today's video is going to be a vlog and i'm going to show you all how a three bedroom apartment in a cool atlantic looks like the building we're going to be going to be a cool pearl and I'm going to show you all what it looks like inside and I need you all to comment down if it's worth it if it's not worth it but I know the landscape is worth it it looks really really nice but I don't know if inside the building is worth it when I say what is uh, when I say worth it I mean if it's worth the money because it's really really expensive guys I saw somewhere to so like you can start purchasing if you have or if you make a 20 million deposit so, <laughs> anyways let's get into this video and please make sure to subscribe like share with your friends and let me know what your thoughts on the co atlantic is and let's go so we're on our way to eco atlantic right now and yeah let's see Nobody on the streets of Lagos. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, this is Eco Atlantic Sales Office. So, if you want to buy land, see them there. So we're here. Again. Okay. <laughs> so this is it. It starts from here. So apparently. So by the way, my sister is the narrator because obviously she knows Eco Atlantic more than I do. So just listen to our narrator. Come on. Carry so on. apparently this used to be Babbage. And I'm sure some of you remember old Lagos when we had Babbage the water. So according to uh, our elders, I don't know, you know they know a lot of Juju and Fetish things. They said they chase babbage inside. <laughs> I think what they mean by chasing babbage, chasing the water inside is some feeling. I, because I mean, how do you chase? How do you tell the water? Stand up, oh yeah. Carry your bag and go. I'm <laughs> 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 So, anyway, so this is it. Access road. People should not lie now, but this place is very fine. Uh -uh. So the access road is fine. Should they make a Okay, so that's the first building. A co pearl. There's a constru ongoing construction behind. It's this. I think it's going to be a second week because I don't know. Uh, I really don't know. I don't want to. We don't want to do advert for this. I mean, I know the, uh, the second building, but we don't want to do any advert for them. Unless they pay the money. <laughs> no free ad. So it's supposed to be a city. It's supposed to have all its own. It has a water channel where you can take boats to wherever you're going to to cut traffic. So it's like a city on its own. I mean, they are away from it. It feels like they are away from Lagos because they have everything you want inside. I mean, that's the plan. That's the plan. We hope it works though. But that's the plan on the long run. So they have everything inside. So it has Eco Pell Towers. It's a twin tower. You have Tower A and Tower B. Some people live here while some other people use the apartment as short -led. so if you want to stay in Eco Atlantic, if you want to experience Eco Atlantic, you can get the short -led apartment and um, just, I mean, to experience the whole place. But mind you, there is no network. Ah, if okay. you enter inside, no more. Only Wi-Fi works. I mean, I think they want to, they want to do, uh, you know, when you travel abroad and your phone doesn't work, because I mean, phone works now, people roam, so why wouldn't there be network? Oh God, there's no, no network. Annoying. Nobody can call you when you're inside. So anything you have to do, do ba, ba, outside ba. before you enter inside and mm -hmm. disappear from the world. So yeah. Okay, so we're in the parking lot. The car park. It's an underground parking. That's why it's going to be a bit dark. Yes. So we've arrived, and as you can see, Echo Pale has how many floors? 31 floors. And a rooftop. 31 floors and a rooftop. Yeah. 
to my green. So they have the, the basement, they have the ground floor, mezzanine floor, the terrace, then first to third first floor, then a rooftop. And you're respecting COVID-19 protocol. Like yeah. Just walk into open house. Oh my lungs, I'm always carrying nude. First street for an apartment, how an apartment in a couple looks like. So, ta -da. This is what it looks like. Time for the tour to begin. So, when you enter first, this is the sitting area. That's my scarf, by the way. You just ignore it. So, this is the sitting area. It's really nice. And then this is the dining area which is really cool then we have all this artworks and stuff this art here and that art here it's really nice and that is the door i just came from which is really nice it's supposed to be a tv here but the tv is not available right now so yeah that's it. So guys, let me take you all outside to the balcony or to the terrace. Let me take you all outside so you can see. But first, let me drop this camera first. Just look at this, guys. Just look at the view of this thing. Oh my god. From up here, it looks like a proper map. Like a proper, proper map. Like, it's really, really pretty. Oh my god. Welcome to Lagos. <laughs> it's very nice, man. Oh, they have a pool down there. A general pool, I guess. Of course, they're supposed to have a pool, sure. For this building, this is Ecopel. So that's Ecopel's pool, I'm guessing. But this place is very scary, sure. It is scary. And this is very tall. Just look at this. There's still like more buildings or more apartment more floors and you can see oh here's wet oh rain fell last night oh so this is it so let's continue the tour of other rooms so i've showed you i've showed you guys the dining area what do you think about the dining area let me know please and this is the sitting area it's just really really cute and really small oh let me show you all the kitchen so basically this is the kitchen i kind of like it it's really really small it's not like really really small but it's okay it's really really small so you just walk in here and then bam where yeah, you can cook of course where you can bake your oven <coughs> And this is the fridge they have a washer and a dryer and yeah that's basically and then that's the microwave there and as you can see from here you can also see the sitting area if you're wondering what this is these are old blinds they're going to throw them away so yeah so this is the kitchen let's open the cabinets to see what is inside nothing nothing because no one is leaving here nothing nothing and nothing so let's head into the room well first oh my god i didn't show you all the guest toilets this is how it looks like let me 
turn on the light. Hold on. The toilet is just like a normal gas toilet. It's not that big. Hello. <sighs> yeah, this is all we have in the toilet. Sink, toilet bowl, cabinet, and that's basically it. So guys, let me show you what the rooms look like. It's very nice and very, I don't know the words to use, but let's go to room one. So entering room one, this is what it looks like. It's really, it's, it's not really small, but it's, it's okay for a short length. It's really, really okay. So this is the bedding and this is the lamp. I came in through that door and we have a wardrobe. Let me close this one first. So this is the wardrobe area. And then of course they have a bathroom. The bathroom is even pretty big and stuff. Just a regular bathroom. Bathtub, sink, toilet, that's it. And then they have a balcony. Let me try and open this as usual. <laughs> Opened. So they have a balcony. It's really noisy, Sha. I think there's no light and the is on. And this is the view from the first room. Can you guys believe that this place was covered with water before? How? So yeah, this is the view from the first bedroom. And this is it. And this is the view from the balcony. Of the room it's, it's small all right guys so we are done with this room we're done with room one i'm heading to room two now so let's see the lighting is trash okay sometimes just bear with me so room two here we go Here is room two. Like, the vibe this room is even giving me is like, shh. Like, it's so quiet. It's so, so quiet. Like, oh my god. So, the wardrobe is basically like the other one. Just some sliding wardrobe. Let me just open it. Just so you can see. Nothing serious because nobody's living here. So, nothing is inside. Let me open the other one. So you can see. Yep. This is how it looks like. Let's close the bag. And then here we have the bedding again. But this room is quite bigger than the other one. It's much bigger than the other one. And this room also doesn't have a balcony. It just has just has the windows but you can still see like this is just the view you get in this room but I still prefer this room to the other one because it's more quiet and then we have these curtains I don't know if you can see these curtains though lighting is not good and then we have this cute new reading chair here it's very nice and of course the bathroom oh so this one doesn't have a bath so it just has a um, shower cubicle that's all 
that's a toilet and a sink i'll say for the bathrooms they are really spacious which is a really nice thing for me personally and this is my view from the bathroom area that's the wardrobe this is the bed this is the chair and this is the window so this is it for room two now let's go to the master's bedroom so guys for the last and final room this is what this is what it looks like so apparently this is the master's room that's why it's very big so we have the bed mirror chair and this one also has a balcony like the first one and as you can see that is the view I'm really trying to open it <laughs> And this is the view again I'm trying to look for UBA Bank in this building if you know Lagos very well you know that's all UBA building that you see when you're passing to mainland bridge but I cannot find it no I don't think I can find it I can't find it but I can see some banks sha. Anyway, so this is the outer area and here we got some other apartments upstairs. And this is the view once you come out of the balcony. There's a very big mirror here. Um yeah, this is basically it. I like this, I like this chair. So their bathroom oh okay nice so this has a bathtub and i have to look nice okay this is how the sink looks like um the bathtub this whole situation going on here And I really like that there's a socket close to the mirror for we makeup lovers. Socket is our best friend. So for the wardrobe, the wardrobe is like every other room, but it's here. I came in through that door and the wardrobe is like every other room, a sliding wardrobe. Yeah. And this is the temperature controller and that's it for echo pearl guys what do you think is it worth it is it nice to me it's really nice though it's really nice but me personally i can feel you can get all this like in like in your house or just use your 20 million naira to build your own house Shit, you know. but yeah this is it guys drop your thoughts let me know what you think okay guys so that is it for echo pearl in echo atlantic thank you so much for watching please make sure to click the subscribe button like button and share with your friends okay and let me know what you all think about this echo pearl building and echo atlantic in general just comment down below you can talk about the interiors you can talk about anything you want in the comment section okay so i'll see you all in my next video thank you for watching